Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. So, today is different that we are at home due to this virus, coronavirus or COVID-19. So, if one is at home, staying put trying to stay away from this virus. So, even though I'm at home, so I can still bring a guest to our studio. And uh, today I'm joined uh, with our science guy, Bill Cole. Hello, Bill. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon, where you are in Central Time. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. So, since everyone is hiding at home, you are, I am as well. So how are things going for you? Well, they're going okay. I'm glad I have lots of hobbies. It keeps me busy. It's starting to get, you know, warm enough. You can be outside now. Uh, probably up to 50 this afternoon so it's pretty good so that's pretty cool so you are basically hiding inside for now when it comes out to the coronavirus right yeah and then I, I try and get the exercise but I'm you know not around anybody else very close you know like okay. hiking hiking or uh, I've been hitting golf balls and <laughs> okay. things like that so that is good so uh the the clubs are still open by you, or you are basically uh, throwing uh, some balls or somewhat in the woods, somewhat somewhere. Well, I, I just go on some school property. Okay, some school property, uh, breaking windows. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is that what you are doing, man? <laughs> no. You are supposed to stay at home, relax, you know, and. You are basically breaking windows on school <laughs> properties. So I guess uh, the kids are safe because they are not there, right? Right. And the kids aren't That's a there. Good thing. So what is uh, your advice to the people who are now in the state of panic when it comes yeah. out to uh, the virus, coronavirus? My my advice, I, I don't have anything <laughs> that they you probably have haven't anything? heard. So you know? what are you doing yourself? So maybe that is working for you. You can probably say to them, this is what I have been doing. It works and maybe you can try it if it works for yourself. So what have you been doing yourself? Well, I guess staying away from crowds, that's the main thing. You know, I haven't been anywhere where there's been a big concentration of people. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I guess I'm staying inside maybe more than I would normally. Uh, you have to, you know, cook for myself or get takeout now. <laughs> Can't go to any restaurants. Oh, what's what I bought now? The old-fashioned home cooking. That you yeah. did that? <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, it's just hard to know what to believe. Somebody just sent me something, and one theory was that if you take Advil, uh, that it made it worse, the, the coronavirus, but uh, Tylenol was okay, but Advil made it worse. Now, uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but you know, there's so be a lot. I do not know all the uh, side effects of these things, because the virus itself is new. So there are many things people are saying, but a lot of the things that they are saying are false. They are right. not actually uh, on a nature science. So uh, unfortunately, uh, we have non-medical professionals, we have uh, non-researchers in the field of uh, medicine 
uh, all these people are now giving advice to people. So, this is a bad thing. It is a very bad thing. What I always not tell people: if you are about not to get some news, make sure that it is from a reputable source, and not only a reputable source, but who is saying it or who is giving that information. So, is that person? A person of science or the medical community or just someone rambling about some fads to some extent so it is a very important not to do that and not listening to what people are saying and again since uh, the virus is so new in such a way we don't have uh, all the data and all the research that uh, we could come uh, to a conclusive state uh, of saying certain things. If you take this, you take that. So of course, uh, you know, uh, we have a president as well, who is now a medical doctor prescribing <laughs> people uh, certain drugs on TV without a script. So you never know. So if the president can do it, I guess everyone else can do it too. Well, I guess what uh, kind of puzzles me is that, uh, you know, some people seem to get through it fairly mild, but, you know, I mean, other people it's fatal. And and even seem like some of the people that were, you know, like middle age and pretty good health, you know, it, it's been just terrible for them. But, uh, you know, it just seems to affect people differently. But th th there is this uh, notion that some people believe that they are invincible. It doesn't matter your age, but you may be young. You may have uh, some underlying condition that you may not be aware of. And just because you are 20, okay, you think mm -hmm. that you are in good health, you can recover based on a past experience because you are young so the body can fight much better but this is a novel virus no one knows exactly how such a virus is going on to react uh, and also having uh, some underlying problems and that is going to be problematic so the virus uh, doesn't have any border the virus uh, does not have um, to some extent, what do you call it? Any age restriction. And I even heard there was a seven months old baby who passed away from coronavirus oh, yeah. uh, this past week. Uh, I didn't read it, but I heard it over the news uh, to some extent. But I truly believe the virus doesn't have any age on specific or gender to some extent. So, uh, this virus doesn't know age, uh, ratio component, or whatever. So we have uh, to be careful and be prudent on our activities. That's all. Right. So I've been I'm listening. I, I've been you know watching the news quite a bit, and it's like you can watch them. About so much of it, and it's like, wow, you just it's information overload. And... Yeah, so to some extent, I try to watch the news as much as I can, but I simply do not glue uh, to the screen because everyone is talking about the same thing, uh, coronavirus, because we can hear so much about it, and the many things that the media are not talking about wash your hands do this do that i always believe that we were a first world nation we were supposed not to be doing these things anyway so these things are should not be new things to us we should have been doing them mm -hmm. all these years okay so i do not understand as to why uh, wash your hands, don't touch your face, 
Don't put your fingers in your nostrils and things like that. Who are supposed to be doing all these things? So I do not understand the measures some restaurants are not taking and other establishments are taking, but they were supposed to be doing these things all, all this time. So mm -hmm. now the question that I have, what were, what were they were doing? So that is the question. Okay. So yeah. I do not know, but I'm very, um, confused uh, by the reaction of all these things. So things that we're supposed to be doing anyway, and we were not doing them. And now due to the virus, we are trying to do them. So it makes it to some extent complicated or challenging. So, and uh, the best thing we can do, we need to stay away from large group of people uh, and uh, try to eat healthy to boost our immune system and that is not the best thing that I can say so I'm trying not to do the same thing myself trying to stay healthy uh, trying not to go anywhere so even if I have had to go to the grocery stores, I am extremely careful. So, and again, if you go to the grocery store to get some water and uh, you get the water, what makes you believe uh, the person who was not stocking the water was not infected with coronavirus? So it is a risk that we are all taking at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we have the restaurants you cannot go inside and sit down for your meal but they offer takeout or delivery what make you believe and the chef who is cooking the meal does not have coronavirus inside the restaurant cooking it for you okay but right. this is uh, one of the many reasons when you receive that meal you do not eat it in the container the meal arrives so what you basically do, you have to transfer such meal into your own container at home and reheat the meal in your microwave. And uh, before you eat, make sure you wash your hands again because on that container may be very well contaminated by the person delivering to you. So very important. Does that make any sense? It does. So... Okay. Just because uh, we're not sitting in the restaurant, that doesn't mean that the food that is coming to us is not going to be contaminated and things like that. So, it's very crazy. I guess I've been thinking some, you know, about, you know, how are things change in the future? It seems like, you know, there's got to be maybe things like this, you know, will be more important or other things that can be done with new technology or what, but it just seems like, uh, you know, th th there's been warnings of this sort of thing happening and we really haven't taken them just too serious. And, and uh, I, I think- So as a matter of fact, I have been talking about this for the last 10 years, how we are not ready. So yes, we are the United States of America, Supposedly, we are a first world class country, but at the same time, there are many holes in this country. We are not ready for certain things. Mm -hmm. So now we can see it. it is evident that the healthcare system is very um, in bad shape. Isn't bad shape, the healthcare system, okay? So we do not have enough hospital beds. We do not have enough um, medical professionals. It is very simple. And that stem at the educational level. And I have been talking for years how 
to experience a paradigm shift in the medical field as to how we train nurses, doctors, and other people. So, what I have been saying is this. You don't need to go to medical school for four years after college and things like that. So, if you have an educational system that is not very serious about healthcare, so you can train medical professionals who do not have to go to a four-year medical school. Okay, we can show them the process, just like we have our physician assistant who go to school for two years. But at the same time, we can also have another system where by the time you finish your four year degree, you are a well trained professional to take care of our sick people. Okay, so oftentimes I go for a medical checkup. I tell the doctor what I need. That person agree with me. Okay? That's it. You don't need a medical doctor to tell you you, f- you have a headache <laughs> or you have a fever. Okay? You only know you have a headache or you don't have a fever. So basically, they are going to, to prescribe you something. But you can also have another layer of healthcare professionals who can take care of these things where the cost is going to be cheaper where you don't have to pay so much money and similar to nurses and so on okay Mm -hmm. so the healthcare system needs to experience a paradigm shift because it is not working we can see it now okay not enough beds okay so we don't have a healthcare system in the US, in my opinion. I think that we have some form of companies making money on the back of sick people. So they're not there to keep you healthy, but they are there to make money. That's all there is to it. And I have been talking about this now for the last 10 years as to how we should, to some extent, experience a paradigm shift when it comes down to medical services in this country. And now we are so far behind. And now we can see it with this COVID-19. Yeah, I'll say. (laughs) Suddenly, it is true. All right, Bill. So, stay safe. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I look forward to see you in your second year of our retirement. (laughs) Starting next year, 2021. So, be safe. All right. So, stay away from large group and uh, things that you should be doing anyway. Wash your hands more often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, anyway, thank you for being here so that now uh, we could talk about the many things that are happening, trendy, the new trends, mm-hmm. the new normal, uh, to some extent. So, until then, my friend, take care. Thank you for being a great guest on uh, GSN Gizzo STEM Network. So, okay. by the way, you are doing very well uh, when it comes down to your video editing. Oh, so you are getting <laughs> so much better, man. Yeah, that's good. Keep it up. All right. So I wish I could do that, but I think I have a different calling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. So take care and be safe. We will be in touch soon. Okay. Very good. Okay. Bye. Bye.